Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to 360 flip on a fingerboard. So for those of you who don't know what a 360 flip is, it's just a 360 shovel, which is like a regular top shovel, but with an extra 180 rotation. So it's doing a full circle around plus a kickflip. So let's start with the finger position. So I feel like finger positioning for any trick really is just personal preference. But I have my fingers like that. So we got the um back finger like that, the normal place that I do for every trick near the middle of the tail. And then this front finger is a little more back than usual because I feel like I kind of use it as like a guiding finger when doing this so um usually I have it more up like that in line with the back finger but for this I like to have it right here so I can kind of control everything so now let me show you how to actually do a 360 <laughs> So it'll probably help to know how to 360 shove it before you do a 360 flip. But if you know how to just do a regular pop shove it, then I'm sure you're fine. You definitely want to know how to kick flip though. Um, because it'll be really hard to do this if you don't know how to kick flip. But, um, so you're gonna scoop this back finger and at the same time, you're gonna drag up this front finger a little bit to the nose. You don't have to do it that much because again, it kind of, if you have your fingers in the right place at the right time, it kind of automatically goes into that little pocket there. But yeah, you wanna scoop back and flick up at the same time. So this is different from other tricks like a kickflip because a kickflip, you're gonna drag both your fingers up. For this, you're scooping with one, popping and scooping with one finger and the other finger is going up to spin the board around. So if you do it correctly, it should look like this. Also when doing this, it kind of, once you kind of scoop, it kind of helps to kind of bring that finger out, kind of following the board like that, because it continues that rotation, that flick, and just that like shove it rotation. It kind of helps everything move along, help everything work. Also, another tip is that it's really not a hard flick when you flick up. Because if you go hard, it'll spin way too much both ways of like the kickflip and the shove it. So, look what happens if I kind of flick too much. See, it does too many rotations and then um, it kind of just messes everything up. Um, so make sure you know you're doing that flick not too hard. So I feel like a lot of people think they're doing a 360 flip. It's actually like a 360 double or even triple flip. So yeah, I hope this video helped you with your 360 flip. And keep trying, don't give up, it takes practice. And I'll see you in the next video.